Curta Trades here and today we're going to go over the most common reasons why your remote start isn't working and we're going to start with the most common ones that are usually across all manufacturers and brands then we're going to go into some of the more uh, complex ones or the ones that aren't very common for most models but some models will still have these problems where if certain conditions aren't met then the remote start will not work on your car. A lot of the common ones have to do with your car's ability to start and its condition and the other big thing I see with the reason why it won't start is having to do with doors and door latches. The most common reasons I see is usually because a check engine light is on or you're low on fuel. If those two conditions are happening then your automatic remote start will not work. So if your car is low on fuel and your gas light is on it will not start. Most of them also won't start if there's a check engine light on on the vehicle. Um, another really common one is if any of the doors are ajar, it will not remote start, or if the hood is unlatched. And another thing that happens with the doors and the latches and the rear hatch as well, if your car has one, is um, it's not always because the door isn't latched. If you have a problem with one of the sensors that lets the car know that a door is latched, even if the door is all the way closed, if the sensor isn't working right, you're going to have to replace that sensor or if it's just that the door isn't completely closed, you're just gonna to need to close the door all the way before it will allow you to do a remote start. The main reason why it does that is because, especially for the back hatch, is because if the car's idling, sometimes carbon monoxide can get up into the vehicle that way, and is if you let your car idle for a long time, that can be a very dangerous situation. Also, the hood latch. If the hood isn't latched all the way down, or if the sensor for it is broken, that's another reason why it will not do the remote start. A few other ones that are less common, but also something to look at, is your battery in your car. If your car battery is a little bit weak, it might not always start if it's below a certain voltage. It will be less likely to actually start the car, and your remote start might not kick in if it is detecting a low battery. Also check the battery in your key fob. If your key fob has a low battery, it's not gonna be able to send the signal to your car to start it anyways, or you might be too far away. And some other less common ones, if your hazard lights are on, the remote start won't work either. And another one, and this isn't for most vehicles, but some vehicles will actually have a remote start button in the vehicle, where if that's depressed, then the car won't be able to be remote started. It's kind of like a safety feature. If your car isn't in park, it also won't remote start. So for some reason, if your car is in neutral, maybe you left it somewhere where you wanted it to be in neutral or working on it or something, it will not do the remote start if it's not in park. And the other real common one is if you don't know the exact way to press your remote, because a lot of remote starts, you have to hit it twice. That way it doesn't accidentally do it when it's in your pocket and your car is running all day at work or something. So make sure you know how your remote works and read your user manual because it will also list some other ones, especially if they aren't very common across most makes and models. It's always good to check out your user manual and search through there to check out if there's other things you might be missing or the proper way to actually use your remote start. 